What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 20 gameplay. How to think like a pro player. These type of videos is going to help you elevate your game to a whole nother level. So we are on the offensive side of the ball. Does he come out in dime 146? Does he come out in 3-4-I? Right now I'm in a small package so he's going to have to match personnel and it looks like he's in the 3-4 like most people and as somebody highlighted at the top. So we're going to make our adjustments. We're going to make our adjustments like that and we're trying to hit this corner route right over there. I can see him with the cut. Boom. Nice pass. Dion is too fast. So we pick up 29 yards on that first play. And then a corner. So we're going to double team him. ID right here. Block on the back side. And we're going to see two underneath ropes. And then a corner. So let's see what kind of uh, pressure he does. So we got a speed. He got all them uh, big hitters over there. So we get about four yards. And he goes into a cover six invert. So his big packages. He don't know what he's doing. So... He's in the cover six invert. With a lot of pressure. So we're going to see if we can thread it in between here. So it's two ropes. He has to worry about. I can see him right there. We got a possession catch that down the field. He just run offense. So we're going to try to sneak a run in. All his people is not highlighted. And we should be able to get some glitchy. Should be able to get some glitchy. Fight for me. Let's go. One for seven. So let's see, if he comes back into man coverage to try to stop the run, I can get an easy touchdown with a corner route. You got to have your playmakers on the outside and look like we can run up the middle again. Fight, fight, fight. Let's see, cover three, cover four. Okay, so he goes into the three, four bear. So we should be able to hit this low ball. Right there, he holds on to it. Perfect dot. Big fourth down. He goes into cover three cloud. I just waited, waited, waited. Had that corner route on the backside. And then a, a low ball coming back behind. He should have fell down. He took a big hit, held on to the ball. This full breakdown will be on my Patreon and in my ebooks by the end of the night. So we're going to try to run it up the middle again. We've been getting good block sheds, but let's go. Get Fight for me. We're going to hurry it up before you get into goal line defense. Going to do some fake hot audibles. Seal that edge. Seal that edge. we going to for a touchdown. 7-0. To and then we're going to mix in some cover four blitzes. So he's probably going to go into a bigger package. I'm going to have to go into a bigger package. I mix in this cover three sky and then the main cover. So he goes into a smaller package. So now we got to set our personnel to be able to send heavy blitzes. So we got him out the backfield, and the blitz is there, man. I always make sure I shade outside, shade over the top. So we're going to send him back deep. We're going to send him back deep right there. So we got to bump this tight end and watch this running back at the same time. We're going to try to do a quick route. Right there to where I said that too. He left the running back in that time. So we got him right where we want to. Getting rid of the ball fast. I should have lurked because the running back didn't even come out for a play. So I should have lurked. I gave up an easy first down right there. That's okay though. We had him right where we wanted to. You can see he didn't block the running back. So I should have ran out and followed him and intercepted that. Because he, he thought the pressure was coming. He wanted to get rid of it fast. This time we're going to bluff that middle right there. Just in case he does get a quick slant out. So this time we're going to watch. There's a, uh, we all over it. He did a halfback screen. We was all over it. I'm looking at the running back. We got that pressure coming off the opposite side. You can see it right there. 
And all I'm doing is crashing out. A lot of people don't know that you just so empty base. This is what I this is what I figured. So we're gonna give him a cover three look first, and then we're gonna go into man coverage. Cover three, then man coverage. So we all over it. We all over it. Get down on the ground, Wilson. Darius Slay with the big sack. Had the cover three shell behind it. A lot of people send it out of the cover two. We did the cover three shell. All I did was bring the uh, blitz and angle down. And then I brought my user back and I put a spy in the middle. So we got to make sure that this pressure over there is good. So we can hit him underneath. We can hit Okoye underneath right there. They give me that, I'm going to take it every single time. So he goes into uh, a cover three shell. So we're going to hurry up and flip it and try to set our play real fast. We should be able to see if we get a uh, bomb right there. Come on. Boom. Easy one play touchdown, man. Easy one play touchdown. If y'all want the breakdowns to this, make sure you become a Patreon member today. Or get the offensive ebook. All this is going to be updated and it's going to be fire throughout the rest of Madden. I will start my full time YouTube journey starting Saturday. And I actually have more time to lab and do all that type of stuff. So you can see what coverages I've been using. So he's in Strong Pro. So we go man up both of these people on the outsides. And we're going to come right here to help with the run. So we got the contain. There's the run. I just want him to have to go different than what he want to. I'm doing that cornerback. I'm watching the cornerback. So whatever side that cornerback is on, that's who I'm watching. And I'm just trying to shoot gaps, make sure it's hard for him. So we man him up. I just want to make it hard for him. There's a draw. I'm all over that. Now I can come back to another route. Let's go. Let's go. And then I'm going to shift. So I can shoot this gap right here if it's a run. So there's play action. Now I'm going to come back. Oh, y'all see me. I tried to come back and lurk. I watched him underneath. You can see on the thing. I followed him underneath, and then I tried to come back and lurk. So I might have to get somebody a little taller, a little faster, because that's not the full powered up version. But we got somebody right there, man. We got somebody right there in the area. So fourth and five. He only needs five yards, so we can't be too aggressive. So we got to make sure that we stop him from getting a lot of yards. So he's calling the timeouts. If he comes into something small package again, we all are blitzing. We're going to shade over the top. So he goes into the spread. So we're going to man him up this time. Man that guy up this time. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. He threw it. He threw it to the first person that he seen. He thought it was gonna be a lot of pressure. Uh, yeah, we right there. Like I said, shade outside, shade over the top. It's an easy GG, baby. And then I got my uh, coach adjustments by speed too. So that's another key thing. So we are gonna go back into this formation one more time. He thinks that he figured it out, but this time we just gonna mix in the run because he expecting for a uh, pass to happen. Oh, he might be aggressive though. So we are gonna hit him with some fake audibles. Yeah, he tried to bluff it. Get out of my way. Get up. We just stiff arming people. Get out of my way. You trying to bluff it to try to make me throw a pick again. So we're going to put Barry Sanders in right there. Cover three. We're going to try to we gonna try to bomb him over the top again. Let's see if he recognized cover three. So we're going to set all, all, all our audibles right here. Let's see if he recognized cover three. I see you right there. Uh, let's go. Put a little bit of swerve on him. Put a little bit of swerve on him. Did he try to do man coverage? Yep, he tried to do man coverage. 87.5%, 172 yards. Let's get it.